Hey, can you guess what I've put off talking about for a while? The Timeless Child. Hello Hoovians, Crispy Bro here and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well, hope you're all staying safe and being good. So yes, today we'll be talking about the bloody infamous Timeless Child. Uh, I'm very, I'm very excited for this video. Um, don't dislike it just yet. I promise you it'll be somewhat informative and, and I know a lot of people have a lot of different views about this and, th and this is what the video is for. We're gonna talk about these different opinions. But just before we get into it, why don't you consider subscribing? Hey, we are this close to 20,000 and I've got some very, very, very exciting stuff to announce once we reach that that point because that's when Crispy Pro gets serious. So the reason this video exists today is because I was recently involved in a webcom where I was talking to a bunch of different Hootube uh, creators. There was Mr. Titus Reviews, Council of Geeks, JXE, um, Hoovian Chaser, uh, Ace Creeper, that guy. And we chatted for about an hour and it was a really, really cool discussion. But towards the end, um, Mr. Titus brought up the Timeless Child and we had a small conversation conversation, but then we got cut off. We ran out of time. So, um, so unfortunately we're out of time. Uh, I want to thank everyone for coming. And I never really got to say my, my viewpoint on the timeless child in that webcon. So I was like, Hey, you know what? It's, it's about bloody time. We talk about it on my channel. So hopefully the dust has settled enough since that episode when the timeless child was revealed, um, that this video is not going to get bombarded with dislikes and hateful comments. Let's all keep it pretty peaceful. We're, we're a pretty peaceful channel here. We have a lot of fun at crispy pro and we don't hate each other. See, one final disclaimer. This is just my opinion. Okay. Love you. Four, now I don't even know where to begin. The Timeless Child is one of the most debated topics um, of Doctor Who in recent memory. And it's funny because I'm hearing a lot of viewpoints from a lot of sides and I honestly feel like I agree with a lot of them. Every side of this argument has quite good points. So bloody strap yourselves in because we're gonna see a few today. Okay, here's the context. Spoiler alert. It was revealed by the Master in the Timeless Children episode that the Doctor was in fact the Timeless Child. So basically the Timeless Child was, was this child that was um, experimented on and kind of tortured for their regenerative abilities. Like they, they were the first ever Time Lord to regenerate. And the elders of Gallifrey basically um, used this this power for, for the people. So hence the Doctor is the reason that all Time Lords can regenerate. But the Doctor doesn't remember these previous lives that she had. Um, and it's heavily implied that the, uh, the fugitive Doctor is another life that the Doctor had that she simply can't remember. So yeah, we found this out in the series 12 finale and the internet was set ablaze and that was honestly like such a shame to see because I feel like series 12 was very much a step in the right direction from series 11 because during during series 11 um, there there were so many um, hateful comments like I've, I've been on this platform for a little bit and during series 11 was was the most hate I got because I didn't mind the Jodie Whittaker era but then when series 12 came around there was way more positivity in the Hootube community and I do believe that was because series 12 I think is a much, much better season than series 11. And it was going so well up until the timeless child was revealed and eee! A lot of different opinions and I don't even know where to start. So I'm just going to let Mr. Tardis take it away from that webcon thing we did. So like the controversy with the, the timeless child revelations mm. and everything. I, if you, you could love it, it could tell some great stories in the next few years, give it five or six years and it will not be canon anymore. That's like, exactly for, it. like, exactly, like, there's a load of stuff from the Stephen Moffat era, like the Doctor ridding the universe of death at the end of Hellbent, um, and a load of other, mm. like, universe-altering stuff, which what you ignore can't, can't hurt you. I'm half human. And if, that, and if you don't like the Timeless Child, fair enough, and you can just, the next showrunner can just not acknowledge it, and it can, they can pave their own path, they can change the continuity in their own way. And I very much agree with Mr. Tardis there, hence the... It's a really strange concept to get your head around in regards to a TV show just kind of like not mentioning stuff that's happened before. And I know a lot of people in the comments are gonna be like, hey, but but, I, but I'm mad now. And like, you're allowed to be. I know for a lot of us, it seems like such such a big deal in the Hooniverse, but it's kind of, it's a strange thing that, you know, in a few years, that the Timeless Child will barely be canon. It's truly bizarre that, that Doctor Who can do that. It's probably because Doctor Who is one of the most, what's the word? Adaptable shows ever? You can have an entirely new lead, a new showrunner, a new bloody title sequence, creative team, and it will still be the same show. But for us as Doctor Who fans, it's a very strange experience. You know, our favorite show gets rebooted every couple of years with a new Doctor and or new showrunner. So if this current incarnation of the show isn't your cup of tea, come back in a few years and it'll be a completely different show. And that's 
that's fine. You're allowed to do that. But speaking of showrunners... And actually, this is something that I've really appreciated what the show has done because George Ace Creeper is absolutely right that not only is it not the job of a showrunner to correct or undo or whatever what the previous runners did, thankfully that really hasn't happened um, in, in the modern era so far. Whatever you think about Chibnall, I don't feel like any of his decisions are him trying to fix or amend or even undo. So here's the thing. Timeless Shot, I'm going to touch on it super lightly. I don't hate the concept. <laughs> I hate that it's the Doctor. I wish that the Timeless Child was literally anyone else other than the Doctor. But, and 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 I like, I deeply hate that. And I don't want stories to come of that. But I don't, I also don't want Chibnall or whoever comes after him to somehow retcon it as not being there. I would rather let him do whatever he's going to do with it. And whoever comes in next will do their own thing. Nobody should be tying up what they're going to do with the show because of problems with before. I don't think I could have said it better myself, hence why I played the clip. It is absolutely not the responsibility of a showrunner to try and fix a showrunner's mistakes from the past. If they don't particularly like what they did, then they'll basically just ignore it and go on and create the stories they want to create. Another great point that Council of Geeks brought up, and basically the reason for this video is that I kind of like the idea if the Timeless Child was anybody else apart from the Doctor. I think in my initial review for this episode, I said I was fine with the Doctor being the Timeless Child, which I, which I kind of am, but I feel like there could have been better stories if the Timeless Child was a different Gallifreyan. And as the thumbnail of the video suggests, I would have absolutely loved it if the Timeless Child was in fact the Master. We found out at the end of Spyfall that um, the Master had basically destroyed Gallifrey, and the reason the Master did this was because the Master was just so mad because he found out the, the truth about the Timeless Child. And that truth was the fact that, you know, the, the Doctor was this, was this being that basically you know, was a part of the Master because, you know, the Master wouldn't be able to regenerate without the Doctor having been the Timeless Child. And I mean, don't get me wrong, if I if I found out that my arch nemesis was was a fundamental part of my, like, building blocks, I'd be, I'd be pretty pissed. I'd be pretty mad. But just imagine for a second that the Master was, in fact, the Timeless Child. The Master was the one that had, had these previous lives that he can't remember. He was tortured and experimented on by the Elders of Gallifrey, which would lead to him being, you know, slightly unhinged as, as he is now. And that would kind of justify the, the Gallifreyan destruction. Not that I condone it, but I understand. And if Sasha Dewan's master is in fact after Missy, like a lot of us theorize, um, then that would make a lot more sense in the, in the character shift because Missy had a very complete arc with her, you know, kind of turning good in the end. But when we see Sasha Dewan, he is, he is mad. And if the master was the timeless child, you know, we could imagine a scene with the master and the doctor and the master's like, hey, I bloody made you. And the doctor be like, oh my gosh, what? But I really think they did miss an opportunity there. But I mean, you never know. The, the Timeless Child and and the Division, it's, it's stuff that's only been mentioned briefly by the Master and, you know, all the stuff in the Matrix. But we have we have no concrete stuff. We don't know what they're going to do with the story. The whole idea of the Doctor working for the Division, this secret sort of Time Lord thing, if they bring in next series and bring in like Tectoon again and, and show us more of this era, have Ruth again in the, this next series as like a prominent figure, this sort of two doctors type thing. I, it's different and I kind of like it. Okie dokies, just to beef this video up a bit, um, I tweeted last night being like, hey, the timeless child, what do you guys think about it? And it got an overwhelming response. So I'm sorry, I can't read out all of them or we'll be here all day, but I did pick out a few favorites, so. Here we go. A lot of these are really interesting. It was very 50-50 on what people thought. I'm glad Chris Chibnall did something a bit different and took some risk as I really wanted to see 13 go through some trauma as she was brilliant in resolution with the Daleks, so I'm happy for that reason. But like many, I don't like it how it makes the Doctor so special. I don't understand what the point of it is. It feels very 50th anniversary type stuff. I'm so tired of Doctor Who constantly looking to its past. I don't care if the Morbius Doctors are canon or not. What I want is interesting, new, and fun ideas. It's a very awkwardly placed arc. Damn, so many, so many good points being brought up today. That's what I'm saying. All angles, baby, all angles. I'm definitely in the it ruins the character and mythos of the Doctor crowd. 
I don't mind the concept itself, but there's so many characters it could have been instead, or even a new one, but it doesn't work for the Doctor for so many reasons. The episode is the Master showing the Doctor a PowerPoint presentation that ends with a slide saying that she's adopted. Gallifrey is destroyed again cause stakes, and the Cybermen get more powerful than they've ever been before, only to do nothing and then get blown up. I see JXC was, was not a fan of this episode, but a very funny comment indeed. Absolutely brilliant. I think it is an idea that had the potential to go very badly, but it was executed surprisingly well. It brings the Who back in Doctor Who. I liked it at the time, but now when I think about it, I die. Why the change of heart? I don't know. I just think of new things I hate about it every day. Fair enough. But hey, just to conclude, um, the Timeless Child is, is a very strange thing. Yep, that's my point, and that's why you subscribe for really insightful statements like that. Honestly don't know how to end this video because I feel like we, we don't have enough information as of yet. I really truly hope Series 13 does something with the Timeless Child, or else Series 12 just kind of seems like a weird thing to happen. So yeah, we're just gonna have to wait and see, but this video will act like a little, a little time capsule because these are my thoughts on the Timeless Child now. It's a strange thing. <laughs> but hey, those are just my thoughts. Why don't you fight it out in the comments below? I'm kidding. Don't fight it out. What do you guys think about the Timeless Child? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you wish it was the master or someone else? Please just let me know in the comments below and I'll reply. Give it a like. I'll favorite it. And of course, pretty please subscribe. We are this close to 20,000. I'm really truly overwhelmed with the response this channel has had lately. So thank you guys so much. And I promise once we hit that 20K, you'll, you'll love it. You'll love it. Also shout out to Noah AG the man. Um, he was just a recent Patreon. If you want to support me on Patreon, you can do that. I'm not, I'm not going to force anyone to, but that exists. That's a thing if you want to check it out. But yes, that is it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day. Please like this video. Please subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you very, very soon. Is there anything else? No, that's it. Allons-y!